Sometimes the truth is just stranger than fiction, and a heck of a lot cuter. Scientists have hypothesized about 100 million animal species exist on planet Earth, and yet only about 2 million have been discovered to this day. Each and every day we are finding new and amazing creatures with unbelievable features and incredible colors. Naturally, each of these strange creatures gives birth to some far weirder and cuter babies. Our planet is filled with wonderful creatures, and while it's a shame we haven't met them all, so let's start with 20 of the weirdest baby animals in the world. If you've never met a baby camel, then make sure you stick through to the end, because it's so adorable, it will bring you to tears. Let's get started. <laughs> baby Golden Brushtail Possum We all know possums to be cute, but Baby Golden Brushtail Possums go a step further by just looking adorable. Unlike the average gray possum, these guys get their natural golden color due to a rare genetic mutation. Although it makes these Australian marsupials a little more conspicuous to hungry predators, it certainly adds a touch of beautiful uniqueness to an already sweet appearance. Baby Poison Dart Frog Tadpole About as cute as they are poisonous, Baby Poison Dart Frogs start off as tiny tadpoles living in little pools until they are fully grown, which takes about two to three months. The tadpoles eat unfertilized eggs, which the parent frogs bring to them. In some dart frog species, only the male does most of the caring for the eggs and tadpoles. Sometimes, the males will carry tadpoles on their backs in search of a water-filled flower in which to safely deposit a young tadpole. The journey can take several days, making these amphibians truly dedicated dads. Once these tiny tadpoles make it into the frog stage, they're no larger than a thumbnail, which is conversely right around the time you wouldn't want one of these venomous little sweethearts on your finger. Baby Salmon Aside from being cute little fishes, newly hatched salmon actually memorize the unique quality and scent of the stream or lake water they were born in. This is a process called imprinting, and by the time they fully matured, the salmon will eventually come full circle and swim back up to their original hatchery to spawn and die, both cute and hopelessly romantic. Baby Agouti These massive two and a half foot long rodents are no slouches and start to run when just an hour old. A newborn agouti looks exactly like a miniature version of its parents. What's more, agoutis are one of the only South American animals that can open a Brazilian nut without using any tools. Mother agoutis give birth to litters of two or four of these adorable little babies after only three months of pregnancy. Baby Goblin Bat When picturing bats, images of dark caves, furiously flapping wings, and lots of screeching come to mind. Rarely do any of these images make for a pleasant night's sleep. But the Baby Goblin Bat is here to change your mind. As infants, they're nothing but a tiny body with big jumbo ears and a goofy facial expression. A teeny tiny goblin bat sleeping on a human finger may just be the sweetest thing you've seen all day. Before we move on to our next cutest baby animal, we have a quick challenge that'll just take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, leave us a like, smash that subscribe button, and turn on notifications, and you'll win 10 years of incredible luck. Try it, it actually works. Electric Elvers Electric elvers, also known as baby electric eels, hatch in groups of about 1,000 and are no longer than teeny tiny worms. Thankfully, both mama and papa eel stick around to guard the nest until these young shockers are about 4 to 6 inches long. The blue glow on these see-through youngsters comes from a fluorescent protein called UNIG and is one of the most magical things you'll ever see. Eventually, 
they'll be able to generate a decent 600 volts on their own to stun prey and keep predators away all on their own. Baby Goondi Looking like they're missing some ear flaps, Goondies are stocky rodents found throughout the continent of Africa, and their babies are especially adorable. First discovered in 1774 by naturalists from the West, Goondies have only four toes on all feet, short tails, and eat almost every type of plant. Baby Alpaca These funky looking creatures are just about as hygienic as they are cute at birth. Did you know, alpacas literally don't walk where they eat? Herds of alpacas will share a communal dung heap some distance from their grazing spots to clearly separate where they eat from where they sleep or spend free time with family. Not bad alpacas. Baby jellyfish. With no eyes, ears, or mouths, baby jellyfish manage to look just as cute as they are weird. Perhaps it's due to their teeny tiny fragile bodies. We'll let you decide for yourself. Jellyfish are, however, an ancient animal species and may have been around for 400 million years before the dinosaurs, making them almost half a billion years old. Baby Numbat What do you get if you cross a squirrel with an anteater? A numbat, of course. Okay, not literally though. Numbats are actually Australian marsupials that are so tiny as babies that they can easily fit in a human's hand. So, you should really think of these guys as tree-climbing insect-eating kangaroos of some kind. Anyhow, they are listed as an endangered species, but because they are an emblem of Western Australia, they are thankfully protected by conservation programs and we hope they stay with us for a long time. A numbat's diet consists almost exclusively of termites. Yum! Baby Bongo There's nothing cuter than a newborn cattle and nothing as peaceful looking as a baby deer. Well, bongos are actually Africa's largest antelopes but look like a cross between the two and make for even cuter babies. These nocturnal forest animals are known for their striking red, striped coats, and very long horns. But unlike deer and other animals that shed their horns, bongos keep theirs on throughout their entire lives. Baby Poto If you're a sloth fan, you'll love potos, especially when they're babies. Potos are skilled tree climbers found in the rainforests of Africa. They're often referred to as softly softly, for their thick wool fur and opposable thumbs that they use to carefully and quietly grasp branches. Just like sloths, potos feed mostly on fruit and insects while moving slowly and carefully through trees to avoid predators. Baby Jerboa Jerboas start off as cute kangaroo-like rodents with tiny ears. But as they reach adulthood, the ears become big and Dumbo-like, making them perhaps even cuter as adults. These hopping desert rodents are found throughout Northern Africa in East Asia. And, to no one's surprise, they have excellent hearing which helps them avoid predators. Baby Binturong These guys are not bears, nor cats, but they look about the size of a house cat and use their long claws to climb trees. Hence, these tree-dwelling critters are often called bear cats, due to their appearance. Binturongs are omnivorous animals native to the rainforests of Asia. And the baby version of these animals may well be the cutest thing you see all day. 
Baby Skate. From above, they may look like alien creatures from another planet. But if you've ever seen one of these bottom dwellers posted up against an aquarium glass, you'll have been met by a friendly smiling face. Skates are saltwater fish that are closely related to sharks due to having cartilage instead of bone. Skates have distinct dorsal fins, small teeth, and prefer shallow waters. Oh, and baby skates are perhaps the most adorable little aliens ever. Baby sugar gliders. If you're looking for the perfect combination of coolness and adorability, sugar gliders are where it's at. Just look at those bulging eyes. Although they're not closely related, just like flying squirrels, sugar gliders are found in Australia. But they're actually marsupials and therefore a lot more closely related to kangaroos. These little guys enjoy eating mealworms and nectar-filled foods and spending time in the air. Baby Babarusa We're not sure how practical those trunks are, but as babies, these piglets are one of the most adorable creatures you'll ever meet. But you're not likely to find them on a farm anytime soon. Babarusas are actually found throughout the Indonesian islands, where males lead a pretty solitary life, while females travel in groups of up to eight. Baby Chevrotain Mice? Cute. Baby deer? Adorable. Put them together, and you get a chevrotain. While they're not literally a cross between a mouse and a deer, they sure look the part. They come with a healthy dose of cuteness, especially when they're babies. Native to Southeast Asia, these rodent-like deers, also known as mouse deers, look a bit like fawns, but may be more closely related to pigs. Anyhow, what you see is what you get, and what you see is cute as hell. Baby Camel Now, camels may not be the first creatures that come to mind when you're trying to think of cute animals, but the grin on a baby camel's face? Priceless. We all know what a camel is, so let's skip that part. But how often have you seen their babies? Fun fact, contrary to popular belief, camels don't store water in their humps like a tank. They actually consist of fat for the most part, and are full of food reserves they slowly consume over their long journeys. In reality, camels minimize their water loss in other ways, but hey, who doesn't like a good tail? And those were the weirdest baby animals in the world. Do you agree with our list, or did we miss out on any? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video cute, you should definitely check out our video on 10 cutest exotic animals you can own as pets.